Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here. Welcome back to a new video. And today let's continue on with the four part series. So, this one will be talking about Yuku as the title, and we'll also still cover some dramas that um, wrapped up filming or gave new posters that are not from Yuku as well. But let's first start off with a drama that said that they'll be releasing on May 27th. This is a 10 cent drama called Binary Love. It's a web series rom-com youth drama and it stars Sabrina Zhuang and Ren Yu Lun. This follows the life of the female lead as she grows from someone in high school to university. So it seems like she's a student that's not well-rounded but she's okay. She's good at some subjects but she's horrible at others. With the help of the male lead and her friends, she ends up finding a plan to be a well-rounded student and she ends up making it to the top university. There you follow her and her friendship romance through her dormitory life in university. Next drama that announced was Hello Beautiful Life. This was not picked up by any of the companies so far and it's um, unclear which one it will air on but it stars Mao Xiaotong, Zheng Li, and Li Jiafeng. This is the story of two sun sisters with different personalities that walks on different paths of life. One goes into more of the entertainment um, or internet journalism type of field, while the other one goes into business and you follow their lives from there. We also had the same thing with Chase the Truth. They just announced the leads and it's confirmed that Wang Zuqi and Su Xiaotong, both who were in the Imperial Corner, will be reunited in this drama. So previously, like a long time ago, I talked about um, rumored pairings. And this is why I love doing it because some of them actually do come true. And this is an investigation thriller mystery drama. And it's a modern one. It will be interesting to see them play in a more dramatic and serious role compared to the Imperial Corner, which although there were serious cases, of course, it was kind of lighthearted. Yeah, for all these videos I make, I'm gonna give out a little warning. There's just way too many dramas to cover every single one. So I'm gonna skip a few, but I will obviously mention the ones that we get probably new posters for or like the major ones. Um, specifically out of all of them, I think the Aichi Yi one was the craziest. I was just counting them and trying to put them in a list and I think there was like around 30 or 40 in that one video alone. I think that will be the next video, so ep 106. Look forward to that and turn on notification bells to all and of course subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on future videos. So first of all, we have to talk about Till the End of the Moon, starring Bai Lu and Liu Luo, or Luo Yunxi. This is a Shansha romance drama, and once again, I'm probably not going to go into the summary for all of these. I'm just going to give you the actors and the genre. And this is slated to premiere around winter vacation, so early 2023, it makes sense. The aesthetics too, I feel like there's a lot of like winter scenes, and it just fits that time slot. I'm actually really impressed with Yuku's promotion material, especially for this one. I feel like with dramas that are just bound to leak, like their popular S plus dramas, they really did a good job giving us a lot of new materials. Next is Back from the Brink, also a Shansha romance historical drama starring Neo Ho and Jo Ye. I really like the look of this. The first set of posters were like the opposites. Um, it was like really epic and this one it feels like immortal samsara with all the whites and it looks really nice and of course you got the 520 posters as well so this video as well as the rest will be a mixture of um, their conference and also the 520 which is chinese valentine's day may 20th and they release um, posters as well the next drama on this list is Legend of Anla. This one stars Del Raba and Gong Jun. It's a costume drama. And they actually release multiple photos for this. They actually look adorable. The next drama is Li Lani and Chen Xing Shu's Shansha romance drama Love When the Stars Fall. This is in the Ashes of Love um, trilogy. It basically has the same team behind that one that produced that one and also skate into love so this is that third part of course we have to talk about 
probably their most anticipated one, at least for me, which is Immortal Sapsara. It's a Shansha romance drama starring Yangju and Cheng Yi, and they release two posters, both kissing scenes, for China's Valentine's Day. The rumors are once again that the air date is going to be midsummer, like like late June to July. But it's unclear if it's going to be a Mortal Samsara or Legend of Anla that they want to put out first. They also shared some new stills for the historical romance web drama Love Under the Floral Rye. This one stars Chen Yao and Leon Long. I haven't seen these two in a while, in at least an interesting drama. So looking forward to this one. Another historical rom-com web drama is Ali Tiancheng Wonderful Accident. This one stars Huang Shangchi and Tang Min. I like Tang Min since General's Lady, and Huang Shangchi is quite good too. I've seen him in Ugly Beauty, which is a hidden gem last year. Another little web series to look forward to is the Shansha romance drama Chunhua Lanman Chen Xiaozhu also known as the Romance of Chen Xiaoju. However, this isn't the official title. Most likely they will change it since they didn't print it on the posters with the English title as they would for some dramas that are more concrete. And even if they do that, sometimes before air date, they can change it up. This one stars Su Xiaotong and Ke Le Sen. And I believe the female lead is like a pig demon in this drama. Similarly, they released stills for a drama with no um, English title as well, but it stars Wang Yuwen and Jiang Nan. I will like leave all the details in the description box if you want to search it up yourself. This looks like a little bit more of a serious role compared to Wang Yuwen's past roles in historical dramas. Next drama also doesn't have a official title but it is based off of the Go Princess Go sequel, and this one stars Wu Xuanyi and Chen Yuan. Another historical rom-com web drama that will be out hopefully soon is The Legendary Life of Queen Lao, starring Lamu Yangzhi and Li Hongyi. I really like Lamu Yangzhi's, um, I think her acting is great. I think her personality is great as well on variety shows, but too bad so far. Her dramas haven't been too appealing for me, and hopefully this one will be interesting. Next one is called My Divine Emissary, and it stars Li Shijuan and Chen Jinke. This is also a costume rom-com drama. Moving on to the Yuku's modern romance drama section, you have A Romance of Little Forest starring Esther Yu and Jiang Binbin. And it could be that this drama might air with, um, alongside of other Esther Yu dramas, I think Kang Lanjue in the Aishi Yi Suite On lineup that we'll talk about in next episode um, will be airing in like a month or two. So if you like Esther Yu, then maybe you'll get like both of them near the same time. The posters are truly adorable. It really gives me off um, the similar vibes of Moonlight, which I really enjoyed last year. We also have From Repair to Pair, and I think this is the first time I'm seeing this one. So um, I don't know if they waited for it or I just like missed out on when they wrapped up filming. But this is a romance drama between a teacher and a student. And it stars Teresa Lee or Li Gangxi. You might know her from Sword Snow Stride and you have Jiang Chao as the male lead. This drama, I believe, has something to do with antiques, and I guess the two leads become friends and work together, caring about the same things, and I think it talks about cultural heritage of these antiques, so that's interesting, and we've been seeing a lot of dramas just trying to promote Chinese history, and I think this is a great way to do that. And of course, there's still the South Wind Knows My Mood with Cheng Yi and Zhang Yuxi. The second half of the year is so full of competitive dramas, so we'll see which one ends up standing out the most. But sometimes it's a bad thing for a lot of dramas that they save. I mean, it's good for monetary sake, but a lot goes under the radar just because you have some really big titles all airing in the same month. And last but not least is Guess Who I Am, also a Zhang Yuxi drama. This one stars Wang Juqi. They look amazing together as well. And now on to rumor territory. 
There's two. The first one has to do with Zhao Lusi, and recently they announced that a popular romance web novel called Hidden Love, which has the same director from A River Runs Through It and To Fly With You, will be adapting and producing in the future, like couple of months. And it seems like they are eyeing Zhao Lusi as the female lead, and the male lead is Jai Shaowen. And this is a drama, like. The title says it's basically about unrequited love and a girl who has a crush on a guy for several years. And lastly, is a modern rom-com drama. It's untitled at the moment, but it's rumored that Chen Xingshu and Zhang Ronan will be in this drama together, and this will be a romance between a lawyer and an intern that comes to the firm. I feel like Yuku's lineup is really strong. Mango TV had like、um, a couple of interesting ones, but for me, I'm personally into、um, historical or costume dramas. Shansha Wusha doesn't matter, but yeah, definitely till the end of the moon. Immortal Samsara, all are interesting titles. And for the IGE list, which will be in F106, you'll see that they'll have a lot of more modern dramas, but a like strong mix of everything with Chinese Republican as well. And they're a bit more experimental compared to the other drama companies. Let me know in the comments below which one is your top five、um, most anticipated Yuku drama, and I'll see you guys in the next video.